The first step is to apply some primer. I'm going to apply some in my inner eye and on the lid to cancel out any discoloration and also to have as a step to apply eyeshadow. I'm going to use a Viseart Grand Pro Volume 1 palette and this is a limited edition palette. I'm going to take the shade here and I'm going to apply that all over the lid with a big shade of brush. And I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to take the third shade in that row and I'm going to apply that all over the crease just to have as a transition, just a starting off shade. And I'm going to take a more fluffy brush just to diffuse that all over the crease and just have a nice set color. Now I'm going to shade over and I'm taking more of a tapered brush and I'm going to just put that color in the outer eye in the outer crease and then I'm going to move on over with a more fluffy brush and I'm going to blend that shade out. What I love about this palette is that well Viseart in general their shadows are like butter and they, they go on the eye so nicely and they blend very well. Now I'm going to take the last shade in that row and I'm going to kind of put that there where I'm going to tight line and also use it as a liner and I think this is more of a reasonable like everyday wear like you could do this for work you could do this for school you can do this for anything like an everyday look and I'm just taking that shade and I'm using it as a liner only because I don't want to use black I think black is like more of a evening kind of thing and black can kind of be like very out there and popping so I wanted to do something more subtle and I'm gonna blend that out you can leave it as it is but I'm gonna blend it out just to have like a nice soft smoked out wing so that's what I'm doing and then I'm going to curl my lashes I want to apply some mascara something light just so I can apply my lashes so I'm gonna use the one from social eyes lashes I already apply foundation so I'm gonna cream contour and when I cream contour, I like to apply that in certain places to my face to have it more bronze and more sculpted. I'm going to take some of my leftover foundation and kind of blend out those harsh lines in my forehead and around the area since I did a lot of the diffusing of the shade. I'm going to apply some concealer. This is a Tarte Shape Take Concealer and I do blend out that concealer around the forehead area, under my eyes and the bridge of my nose. So once I'm done with that, like. I just set everything after that so I'm gonna be blending that concealer out and make sure that you blend it really well so that there's like an ombre of your bronzer to the foundation also with the concealer that you blend it so you want to have it kind of mixed in nicely I'm using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder to set that under eye and also brighten. And then I'm going to set my concealer also with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Now I'm using the Melt Cosmetics Digital Dust highlighter slash bronzer in Nova and I'm just going to set that cream contour and I'm using the NYX blush and taupe for my nose area because I feel that's more grayish tone and I feel like it looks more natural I'm gonna use some blush from Jordana and it's more of a natural blush and then for highlight I'm using the artist couture highlight and cocoa bling and you can use any highlighter you want you don't have to go extreme like I did but <laughs> It was a lot, it was very intense, so I had to like tone it down a bit, but you don't have to use this highlighter, you can use any highlighter you want.
Now I'm going to apply some of that shadow that I applied in the crease area. I'm going to take that underneath and I'm also going to apply some liner. I'm going to use the one from Urban Decay and then I'm also going to blend that out so it's not a harsh black line on the waterline. I'm going to set my makeup with the Kaylan Cosmetics Setting Spray and then once I'm done I'm going to apply some mascara. I'm going to apply some lip liner. I'm going to go with a, a bold lip. You don't have to. You can go with like a neutral lip. But I'm going to go with something bold because that's just me. So I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in Rage. Thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you guys see my next video at the end and subscribe to my channel.